Hey, so guys, hello boys, here, Kay, Tiny Noon. So, I'm going to be talking about the most embarrassing shit I did. Or the recent latest shit that I did that was fucking embarrassing, stupid as fuck, for front of an audience that I humiliated myself. Okay. Now, you may or may not know about a company called SM Town or SM Entertainment. Now, if you don't know, it's basically a company where if you're talented, you can go audition. And if you got skills, they get you, they train you, and then you become a K-pop star, K-pop idol, or whatever the fuck. So, apparently, I thought I was skilled enough to go to this audition, right? You can go for singing, acting, modeling, dancing, and lyrics, composer. <clears throat> now, I went for dancing. So, let me tell you, this all started back uh, from the beginning. SM Town posted a video that they were going to have a global audition. They were going to come to many different countries and then they were coming to the US and LA. So I was like, oh shit, fuck it, you know, let me audition. So I thought I can dance, right? You know, I was like, oh, you know, I can't sing, I can't um, compose anything. I mean, I could act, but I preferred to go for dance. I signed up online. I signed up online and then, um, the, there's an instant message that comes back to you that replies to you and tells you, oh, thank you for signing up, blah, blah, blah. So then they say that um, unless you get a message, you can go attend the audition. And if you don't get a message, you can't attend the audition. So Because they say that they send it a day before the audition, but I got it a week before they send me, oh, come to the audition. This is the time, place, blah, 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 blah. I was like, oh, shit. Because I had signed up like early this January. Right now it's not January, but the audition was held to February 13th which was Saturday the day before yesterday I know the day before yesterday yesterday sorry today's Tuesday and uh, the whole month I didn't plan shit alright because they said the dancers the music will be played for you can't go um you can't go with your own music or choreographed or whatever the fuck they were gonna play random music and you just had to dance so I thought oh well you know I dance all the time at home um, this sounds kind of like if I, uh, no, but I, I do choreography a, a lot of fucking, I, I practice choreographed uh, dance moves when I dance at home. Not like I'm fucking retarded and dance by myself or some shit. But, so I was like, you know what, <clears throat> okay, I, I didn't receive any news, so, okay, for the whole month, I didn't plan shit. I was like, you know what, whatever, you know, I, I know I ain't got no talent. So then I got the message and then I was like, oh shit, I can actually go audition. So then... Uh, the last week, I was like, fuck, what do I do? Do I prepare some freestyling moves? Because I can't, I'm not good with freestyling. I have, I have forgot that, um, that they provide the music. I actually knew, but I somewhat forgot, because I'm like, what if they forget? So, then I, I didn't plan shit, so I thought maybe if I should just put singing right, because I, I was able to sing this one song, Lionheart and uh, Someone Like You by Adele. Light hard by Girls Generation and whatever. So I was like, uh, I should just put a scene. If I can't dance, I, I'm just put a scene and I already know those two songs I got in my head and I know the lyrics. So I thought maybe when I go there, I'm gonna just put a scene. Saturday came up. 13th of February. I went to the audition. So it's in a nice hotel. It's next to Staples Center. And it was fucking gorgeous. And, um,. We entered the hotel and then, um, since it says level 2, I was like, I think we go upstairs. Because I'm used to, you know, floor 2 or some shit, but I knew it was upstairs because it says level 2 and then platinum ballroom or whatever the fuck. So we went to audition. Now when you go first, nobody, it looked like, uh, there was a line or something, but there was a no line because they were still waiting. They're getting their shit together, setting up everything because I went, I got there like at, um, I got there at 11 and the uh, appointment was at 12 for me. I don't know if other people got it at the same time, but I'm pretty sure they did so. So after they got their shit together, they told everyone to form a line, blah, blah, blah. And then we entered this room, and then they have a video right there. They're just telling you, um, like, this is just videos of all the, the, uh, groups that they have. The ones that have been successful, I guess. EXO, um, FX, Girls' Generation, Super Junior, all of that stuff. Then there's a lady in the front, she's just explaining everything, blah, blah, blah. You can't have this, you can't have your phone. Uh, which you you can't take pictures blah 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 blah, blah. like all of that fucking shit or else you'll be banned. So 
Um, then they give us the paper, they have to register and like sing and dancing, whatever. And then that was like, I was like, because <gasps> I was hearing people practicing their singing, and then I'm like, I can't beat them. I'm, I'm talentless next to them. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. We're dancing. I'm dancing because I can't sing for shit compared to these people. They have more experience. Their voice sounds way better. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go for dance. Fuck it. I'm gonna put dance. So I put dancing and then blah blah blah. I'm tiny little place. I put all my shit on there, you know. So it's my little sister and me who went to the audition, right? And we're waiting and waiting to take such a long ass time to so find out how people audition or show them what the fuck, you know. They're like taking fucking forever. They took literally like two hours to three hours and then I was like, damn, what the fuck? And then to the lady, she was like, oh, sorry for if it's taking a long time. We're having some technical difficulties. And then I was like, oh, but it's been such a long ass fucking time that we've been here because I was there since 11. And then it was, she said, it's 2.30 right now. So I was like, we're literally here going to be for like three hours already. Because when I went, I got there at 11. Because since you cannot come exactly at 12, you have to come early as fuck. You can't be late. So when I got there, they didn't have their shit together. And then I was like, so why the fuck? If they're not going to have their shit together, why the fuck do they tell you to be there at 12 and not to come later? So it was 11 and then 12. 1, 2, and it's going to be 3 o'clock. Literally 5 hours there. And I'm thinking to myself, this seems pretty fucking messy the way they're doing their shit. Because I've gone to other auditions now. It's not that I failed on my other two auditions, it's just that I, I wasn't able to. If I didn't succeed, it's because I didn't have enough money for it. Okay, I'm broke as shit. You guys know that. Because I've been called twice to come back. They're like, oh, um, we really want you, but you're gonna have to pay $5,000. So I'm like, I ain't got that kind of money for those two other auditions. Okay, now going back to SM Town Vision. The way that they were passing people, because we're all sitting down, and it's like two rows and stuff. I don't know how to explain it, but it's two rows. So, not two rows. Ah, there's people on this side, and then, okay, okay. Imagine this. When you go inside a church, and how they have rows of seats, right? But instead of them being stuck together, they're actual chairs, but they were stuck like that. So, they have rows like that, two rows. And um, I was number 76 and my sister is 75. So everyone has a number. They give you a number, whatever the fuck. And then they take such a long fucking time. The way that they were you know, calling people up to go audition, they did it by sections of two. Two rows, like they're like number one through 10, please stand up. And then they're like number 11 through 20, please stand up. And then line up right here. So they made them line up. And then after they took another while, and then they're like, Sorry, we're still having technical difficulties so that still was in my row I was like the fourth row or some shit and then they left okay fighting or whatever the fuck okay let's speed things up uh, now it's my turn for my row they call my row up uh, number 71 through 80 please stand up blah, blah, blah. we lined up okay they take in she's like follow me if you get lost we're not coming back for you we're not gonna wait for you if you missed your spot that your spot is fucking gone so following this lady and then we wait again once out, um, we wait again outside uh, this room, she's like, okay, they're gonna call you blah blah blah, she's like, setting stuff for this shit, you know, like, they don't look at the floor or the judge, just look directly at the camera, don't take your eyes off the camera, just stay looking at the camera. This is the moment I humiliate myself, not right now, but okay, she took us in, she's like, okay, uh, it was 10 of us at the same time I just and everybody came in in the rope, we're all standing up against, not a wall, but this poster and then she brings in the other 10 to sit down right there and watch us uh, as the audition goes so the singers go first all the people that were singing they were like over there blah 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 ah. then she skips me because I'm a dancer so the dancers go last my little sister was active so she went next and then she was acting blah 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 and then the other two singers left so it was just me and some other girl that was gonna dance right okay now this is the moment I humiliate the fuck out of myself why? I thought I can dance. I told you. She, I swear, she put this beat, this song that had nothing to like. It's elevator music. That's the kind that it was. Like you can, it's like when you're waiting in the elevator for it to take you to the next floor. That's the kind of music it was. The first 
when she pressed play, it was Uptown Funk. And then I was like, oh, you know what? I could turn up to Uptown Funk. Fuck it. And then she skipped like a lot that sounded good. I'm, I'm sorry. She skipped like a whole bunch. And then she's like, slowly. And then she's like, oh, this one. Now you can go dance. And I was like, what the fuck is this? That's when it was the elevator music shit. And I was like, oh, are you fucking serious? And the moment she pressed play, you have to dance, right? So I was like, uh, the other girl, she looked like she had her moves choreographed already and fucking practiced all of that shit. She just started dancing. Like, she wasn't going to the beat, but I don't know if it's funny. <laughs> she was just going to the beat, like, no, I mean, she wasn't going to the beat. So, she at her and I was like, what the fuck do I do? So I was literally doing like, okay. I didn't say okay, but I was like, <laughs> I was doing that, I'm serious. But like, with my feet too, I will show you too, but I ain't gonna space some people over there, so I'm not gonna record that shit. So I was like, moving my feet, okay, my feet's tapping, I, I snap up my right. Then I switch, I just switched and I switched it up, and then, that's so, I would never, like, I usually do that move to fuck around when I'm supposedly turning up, like, when I'm at home, I fuck around like that, and I'm like, okay. But you know, I'm not actually turning up, and then I actually use those moves to fucking dance over there and then I spin right since they have a fucking rug I thought it was gonna be a floor they have a fucking rug so when I spin as I spin I tripped so how did I recover from that I didn't fucking recover from that stupid trip I just like okay let's go let's switch I did this and I was like okay <laughs> I swear, I, I don't want to remember that ever again. Then after she's like, okay, come on, tell me that. So I was like, I'm telling me that. Then we just left. I was like, oh my god. I can never dance in my life again. Got traumatized. But actually, you know what? I've been dancing like after that. I was like, I can't deal with this. I gotta do what I choreographed. It. Because I can't, what I practiced, the choreography. And not, I didn't choreograph it, but the choreography I practiced, I, I, I. I'm ashamed. I was like, I regret it so much. Like, in that moment, right now, I don't feel anything anymore. But that moment, I left the hotel. The moment I left the hotel, I regretted so much signing up for that audition. I was like, I I just felt like going back and be like, you know what? I'm actually, I, I can, I'm, I, I got talent, okay? It's just that I can't dance to that. I like, I really wanted to be like, you know what? I'm gonna put you this. I cr I practice this car beat. Please, I want to show you what I got. But I I I fucked up. And then they don't tell you if you passed or not in a month. Like I feel like that audition was the messiest. They had like the it's like the messiest fucking. It's the most messiest audition ever because the other auditions I've gone to, they they had their shit together, you know? If that was messy as fuck, like, damn, get your shit together. Well, anyways, can't believe I humiliated myself that much. But, I mean, I don't feel that way anymore. I just, I just, ah, uh, I get out of my fucking brain. So, anyways, uh, if you like this video, I know it's pretty long, I'm so sorry, but if you stay to the end, thank you so much. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment below, whatever the hell you want. Links to my Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff in the description box below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.